जॉर्ज गुर्जेव थिंक्स दैट आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज द ओनली सिन बट यू आर जस्ट ए विटनेस यू विल अचीव अ वेरी सटल इन साइड इन टू योर सेल्फ इफ यू कैन सी योर पास्ट एज ए फिल्म एज ए ड्रीम You are not part of it. You are just out of it. And really, you are. If you are thinking about your childhood, you are not in it. You cannot be. The childhood is just a memory, just a tap in the memory. You are standing aloof and looking at it. You are different. you are a witness if you can feel this witnessing and can see your childhood as a film on a screen many things will happen or one if childhood has become now just a dream which you can see then whatsoever you are just now will become a dream the next day if you are young then you are youth will become a dream if you are old then your old age also will become a dream when do you were a child now the childhood has become just a dream and you can observe it it is good to start with the past observe the past and this identify yourself with it. become a witness then observe the future whatsoever you imagine about the future be a witness to it also and then you can observe your present very easily because then you know whatsoever is present just now yesterday was future and tomorrow will become past and your witness is never past never future
if you can feel that the past was just a dream but you are not to project this and force this idea that past was just a dream it is a consequence if you can observe it be aware of it not getting involved in it not being identified with it if you can stand aloof and look at it it will become a dream anything that you can look as a witness is dream once you become a witness of anything it becomes a dream that is the meaning why world is called a maya not that it is unreal but that one can become a witness to it and once you become a witness aware fully aware the whole thing drops as a dream for you because the space is there and you are not identified with it but we get on being identified just a few days six sin remains the basic sin is being identified with happenings in time whatsoever happens in time is dream like and unless you get unattached with it non identified with it you will never know what bliss is identification is misery non identification is bliss
you are remembering your past, any happening, your childhood, your love affair, the death of your father or mother, anything, look at it. Don't get involved in it. Remember it as if you are remembering someone else's life. And when this happening is being filmed again, is on the screen again, be attentive. Aware, a witness, remaining aloof. Your past form will be there in the film, in the story. If you are remembering your love affair, first love affair, you will be there with your beloved. Your past form will be there with your beloved. You cannot remember otherwise. Be detached to your past form also. Look at the whole phenomena as someone else is loving someone else. As if the whole thing doesn't belong to you. You are just a witness, an observer.
just falling into his sleep in the night, ready to fall into his sleep. Go backwards in the memory of the whole day. Backwards. Don't start from the morning. Start right from where you are, just on the bed, the last item, and then go back. Then go back, by and by, step by step. Just to the first experience in the morning when you became awoke. Go back. And remember continuously that you are not getting involved. For example, in the afternoon someone insulted you. So see yourself, the form of yourself, being insulted by someone. But you remain just an observer. Don't get involved. Don't get again angry. If you get again angry, then you are identified. Then you have missed the point of meditation. Don't get angry. He is not insulting you. He is insulting the form that was in the afternoon. That form has gone now. You are just like a river flowing. The forms are flowing. In the childhood you had one form. Now you don't have that form. That form has gone. River like you are changing continuously. So when in the night you are meditating backwards on the happenings of the day, just remember you are a witness. Don't get angry. Someone was praising you. Don't get elated. Just look the whole thing as if you are looking indifferently to a film. And backwards is very helpful. Particularly for those who have any trouble with his sleep.
If you have any trouble with sleep, insomnia, sleeplessness, you find difficult to fall into sleep. This will help deeply. Why? Because this is the unwinding of the mind. When you go back, you are unwinding the mind. In the morning, you start winding and the mind gets tangled in many things, in many places. Unfinished, incomplete, many things remain on the mind. And there is no time to let them settle at that very moment. So in the night, go back. This is the unwinding process. And when you will be getting just to the morning, just on your bed, the first thing in the morning, you will have the same fresh mind as what, as it was in the morning. And then now you can fall asleep like a like a very small child. This technique of going back you can use for your whole life also. Mahavir used this very much of going back. And now there is a movement in America, Dianetics. They are using this method very, very usefully. This movement, Dianetics, they say that all your diseases are just hangovers of the past. And they are right. If you can go backwards and unwind your whole life with that, that unwinding, many diseases will disappear completely. And it has proved from so many successful incidents, so many successful cases are there now. Someone is suffering, suffering.
going backwards is a is a miraculous method if you go back slowly slowly unwinding the mind to the first the first moment when this disease happened you go by and by back and for the first time you were attacked by this disease if you can unwind to that moment you will come to know that this disease is basically a complex of certain other things certain psychological things and going back those psychological things will bubble up when you will pass through that moment when this disease attacked you suddenly you will become aware what psychological factors contributed to it and you are not to do anything you are just to be aware of those psychological factors and go on backwards many diseases simply disappear from you because the complex is broken and you have become aware of the complex now there is no need of it you are clean of it purged this is a deep catharsis and if you can do it daily you will feel a new health a new fitness coming to you and if we can the children to do it daily they will never be burdened by their past they will not need anything to go to the past they will be always here and now there is no hang up nothing is hovering on them from the past you can do it daily and that will give you a new insight if you can go through the whole day backwards the mind would like to start from the morning remember but then there is no unwinding rather the whole thing is reemphasized 
If you start from the morning, you are doing a very wrong thing. There are many uh, so-called teachers in India who suggest that do it. Reflect on the whole day. And they always say do it from the morning again. That is wrong and harmful because you are re-emphasizing the whole thing. And the track will be deepened if you go from the morning to the evening. Never do that. Always go backwards. Only then you clean the whole thing. Purge the whole thing. The mind would like to start from the morning because it is easy. And the mind knows it. And there is no problem. If you start backwards, suddenly you will feel you have jumped in the morning and you have started again forward. Don't do that. Be aware. Go back. You can train your mind through